It's going to be a grueling week, but if there are two people that can help motivate me through this, it's Soul Man and Sunday Love. Let's go. Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Peter and together with my wife Yen, usually we make travel and food videos, but this week we've got something completely different for you guys. I'm gonna do one of those weight transformation videos over this next week. And the reason for that is because Auckland has been in lockdown for a couple of months now and I have definitely packed on a couple of kgs. Now you all would have heard that I mentioned Sunday Love and Soul Man. Those are our YouTube friends and I take a lot of motivation from their awesome videos that they make all the time. And so I needed someone or two people that I can draw on as I go into some very deep and dark places over this next upcoming week. Because some of these fitness challenges, they are gonna be extremely difficult. Now I'm just gonna throw a little disclaimer out there. I am by no means a nutrition expert or fitness guru or anything of that sort. I'm just someone that just wants to get into shape. And so personally, I just wanna share something with all you guys that you guys might be able to relate to and find useful if you wanna have a similar journey for yourselves as well. So with that being said, my resolve is there. I've made the pact with Soul Man and Sunday Love that I'm gonna do this fitness challenge and there is no quitting right now. So with all the weights and measurements out of the way now, I just gotta say that my personal level of fitness is okay. I do exercise every day, but that's only so that I can maintain the huge amounts of food that I eat. Like your Whitaker's chocolate block diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I eat a lot of Whitaker's chocolate and normally I don't actually watch what I eat at all. And so for the next following week, it's gonna be a challenge to eat mainly vegetables, drink a lot of water. We're gonna completely cut out refined sugars and we're gonna have uh, white meat, so like chicken and fish. So you could say it's almost like a proper nutrition plan maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna pump up the intensity of the workouts a lot. So I'm gonna go for morning runs every single day. Wow. Maybe. <laughs> and we're also gonna do like some meme workouts like One Punch Man from the anime series. But yeah, I'm gonna chill out for the rest of today and tomorrow morning starts... Day one. Day one of the routine. <laughs> My normal daily exercise routine consists of like a hundred push-ups or some days I might do like a YouTube workout. I think it's been almost three years since I've been, been on a proper run. So this is pretty tough. We're doing 2.3 kilometers this morning and we're definitely going to be kicking up the amount of intensity that we're going to be doing for those daily exercise routines this week. It's going to be tough. It's definitely going to be challenging but sometimes and in order to get the results you want you have to do something that's tough and that you're not going to like. First run complete. That's probably going to be one of the hardest exercises to get into right off the bat especially if you haven't been on a run for a long time glad that's over and done with six more days of running to go it's going to be all good i think uh, the key here is consistency if you're able, able to keep up the consistency and especially i find when you have an end goal in mind it's easier to keep it up every single day otherwise if um, you just make a resolution like uh, i'm gonna try and exercise every day but don't say exactly for how long sometimes i can feel a little bit demotivated because it's um too wishy-washy of a goal so seven days we're gonna go hard we're gonna go consistently let's get it
breakfast for the next week is going to be oats. It's a great source of fiber as well as protein. And even though there's a lot of carbs in it, it's a little bit more complex than your refined carbs. So it's gonna take longer to burn, which is gonna be good for you. I'm not gonna get too scientific into things. So I'm not gonna do like calorie counting or anything like that. We're just gonna try and stick to as healthy a diet as possible. And it should work out for us, hopefully. Also gonna throughout the whole day, have a whole bunch of fruit, whatever's in season should be all good. And yeah, see you at the next exercise then. I'm gonna down all these oats. Second routine of the day, and Yen's joining us for this one. Hey guys, <laughs> we're gonna be doing Chloe Ting's workout routine on YouTube. I like to do this quite a lot, well at least a couple of times a week, and yeah. Peter will join me for them. I really like them because uh, they're like a whole body workout and they're normally around 10 to 25 minutes long so it's like a nice amount of time. I'm so glad you're doing this body transformation thing on your own because yeah, <laughs> could not do it. <laughs> This is pretty much what meal time is gonna look like for me for the rest of this week. That sounds so sad. <laughs> I'm pretty sad. I'm. This is not what I'm used to at all. This is plain chicken with broccoli and rice. I'm not excited about this at all. Mm, looks pretty nice. It's flavorless. <laughs> mm. No happy food face for you guys this week. Sorry. Last workout for the day and I asked our Instagram viewers if they could give us some recommendations for like exercise and fitness and Miss Belinda398 has given us the perfect one. This is going to be a pyramid push-up workout where I need to do 20 push-ups followed by a 20 second rest followed by 19 push-ups followed by a 19 second rest so on so on until one push-up and one second rest. So let's get into it. Down to the last few, three, two, one. This has been so tough. My arms are literally burning. My shoulders are burning. Everything is burning. Thank you so much for the recommendation. I really appreciate this one. Thanks, Miss Belinda. Two. Two seconds, one, two, last one. Oh, oh I'm dying, dying. Oh. Well done. Thanks. The rest of the week was pretty similar to day one. Oats for breakfast and broccoli and chicken for lunch and dinner. I try to get creative here, oats and chicken. I was able to build a lot of distance on my run, adding a couple of extra kilometers a day, but this is when things start getting a lot harder. Day one's always easy because you feel 100%, but now I've got a lot of random little pains creeping through my body. And so it's all about mind over matter. This is where recovery is important because the challenge is to achieve as much as possible within a week. I couldn't afford to take it easy, even for a day, so it's important to listen to your body. This meant having a nap whenever I felt tired, massaging and stretching out any niggly pain so that I could continue the pace at three sessions a day. What you feed your body is also important, which explains all the broccoli and chicken. The less junk it needs to process, the better the results. The majority of the workouts I did were free YouTube exercises and I made the most of my surrounding area, like this makeshift pull-up bar. The only equipment I had was this old kettlebell, which was rusty, and so I incorporated it into my workout too. I tried to target different muscle groups each workout, giving myself as much time to recover as possible. And yeah, lots and lots and lots of running. This is the last day of this workout routine. Yen's driving us to a location okay. right now because I'm about to attempt 
the one punch man fitness routine one punch man is a superhero and he's got like the most elite workout routine if you want to get into the best shape supposedly <laughs> 10 kilometer run 100 push-ups 100 sit-ups and 100 squats all that actually seems pretty reasonable except for the 10 kilometer run I've never in my life attempted 10 <laughs> kilometers of running before Yen's gonna drop us off at the location yes. so that it guarantees that I will do this whole 10 kilometers and that is what we have to look forward to this morning, guys. Currently at Eastern Beach, and we started this whole exercise journey at two-ish kilometers in our run, and now we've built our way up to about seven-ish kilometers, and today I'm making the leap the 10 kilometers. So, all right, bud, wish me luck, I'm gonna do it. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. What's awesome about this run is Yen's actually stopping off at random points throughout this 10 kilometers to kind of give me support, bring me water. Here's my buddy Hello. now. How are you going so far? First checkpoint. I'm going all right. Yen and I have already had the pleasure of meeting Sunday Love in Tokyo before and we haven't had the chance to meet Soul Man yet, but I'm sure we will one day. And the reason why I made the promise to them at the start of this challenge is they're two incredibly tough and motivated individuals who no matter what the adversity they'll make it through and so they've been a lot of my motivation through all the very grueling parts of this week Hey bud, thank you. How are you going? Mm. Uh, Tired. <laughs> you're doing well. Thank you, back on it. Okay, see you at the last spot. Alright. I'm at the final checkpoint now waiting for Peter and he has been doing exceptionally well. I'm so proud of you bud. Well done, you've only got a little bit more to go. Just saw Peter. Look, you did it. Uh, well done. Oh my gosh, that was tough. Oh my goodness, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, oh, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> How did it go? It was tiring, but pushed through, finally made it. Well done. So thumbs man. up. It's not the end of the workout though. Oh yeah. <laughs> After the run, I did my daily stretching routine followed by a quick rest. It was then onto the final 100 push-ups followed by 100 sit-ups and finally the 100 squats. You ready for that moment of truth now? We're in it together guys. I'm gonna do the final way in and gonna do the shirt reveal to see what and everything looks like. <laughs> Thanks bud. <laughs> We're gonna put up how I look before and this is how I look now after seven days of intense workout. There we go, that's the result. I don't know. Give us a little how's flex. It, how's it look? <laughs> I think I can definitely feel I've lost some weight and my shoulders definitely feel a lot fuller as well. I can feel that when I'm wearing my t-shirts, they feel um, stretched out <laughs> in the right places as well. So let's get this uh, weighing machine set up and then I will weigh myself. I started at 77.2 kgs and uh, yeah, let's see how much it is now. Seventy three point eight kgs. I don't know what the math is for that, but I'm pretty sure that's a lot less than what we started off with, which is a success. I managed to drop a couple of inches off my waistline as well. The toughest part of the week was definitely not snacking and sticking to the broccoli diet, but I've gained some muscle, lose a little bit of the spare tires, and I just have to do the biggest thank you out there to my lovely wife, Yen, who's Aww. been supporting me through this entire thing. She stopped off at all the 10 kilometer points while I was doing the run to give me water and just to make sure that I was okay. So that was super <laughs> awesome. Plus, uh, during this whole week, I've had moments of lows, highs, all that kind of stuff and she's been there with me the entire time. So thank you so much, bud. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Did I smash it? Do I still have 
some work to go <laughs> let me know and if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button drop us a comment if you're on your own journey we'd love to hear from you as well we'll be back to making food and travel videos me and yen in the weeks to come catch up <laughs>